Now, when it comes to the English language paper two exam, this paper is fairly lengthy. There are lots of questions to answer and they hold fairly large marks. Now, what I think would be worth doing is beginning by understanding the structure relating to this paper. Therefore, what I've done, as you can see behind me, is basically shown you what you should anticipate when it comes to section A of the paper, but also section B of the paper. So what I'm going to walk you through right now is generally the structure and the layout of this paper. And then afterwards, I will walk you through some past paper questions. This is for the Edexcel paper two language paper and then I'll also of course show you how to write top level nine model answers okay now as I mentioned this paper is fairly lengthy and it's split into two sections you have section a which is basically a list and a set of questions one all the way to question seven relating to two extracts in the paper. Then section B is essentially related to a writing task. You get two questions, this is questions eight or nine. You choose from one of these questions and then you write literally uh, a response to a written exercise, okay? Now, as I've mentioned, when it comes to section A, this is usually you are, I would recommend spending one hour, 15 minutes on this section of the paper. Now, as I've mentioned, you will be presented with two fiction, two non fiction extracts, okay? As opposed to the English language paper one, where you get one fiction extract. For this paper, you have two non fiction extracts that you need to write about. Now, you will see that there are sections that the questions essentially relate to. Now, questions one to three are basically answers that you need to write relating to text one. Then questions four to six are basically answers that you need to write when it relates to text two. Then question seven, which is basically split into seven A and seven B. These questions are comparative questions. You have to write a response relating and comparing both text one and text two of the two extracts that you presented with in the paper. Now, what I'd like to do is now go into detail as to what you should anticipate for each question and what the weighting is in terms of marks. Now, when it comes to question one, this, as I mentioned, is related to text one and it's worth just two marks. Essentially, for this question, you just answer using two statements and you're required to support your response, but you don't quote. You just write two very brief statements relating back to the question. Number, uh, number two, so question number two, is worth two marks and essentially this gives you an example of language you're basically asked for an example of language in the paper relating to a specific line and then once you give that example you then also have to explain how the writer uses language and do you remember when it comes to language it's things like alliteration metaphors similes things relating to the language even things like nouns verbs adjectives okay now for question three which is worth 15 marks this is a language and a structure question again just to recap language alliteration metaphors similes uh, onomatopoeia personification all those things structure is how does a text begin versus how does it end uh, things even like interesting punctuation not full stops or commas but things like ellipsis a syndeton and things like that okay so that's the language and structure question and you need to make points related to that now Question four, which is related to text two, this is worth one mark, and you basically are asked to identify something within the text. Question five, which is worth one mark, you have to quote from the text, and this is a language question. Now, question six is worth 15 marks, and this is a statement you're given, and you have to evaluate how successfully the statement is achieved. And what I will show you is that usually, the examiner is not looking for an argument, how to what extent it is, and to what extent it's not successful. This is not history question, this is a language question. You can basically say it is successful and you just support your points using language and structure references. Now, question seven. So, as I mentioned, this refers to both text one and text two. These are the comparison questions. Question seven A is worth six marks and here you're looking for similarities between the two texts. And then question seven B is worth 14 marks and here you are comparing ideas and perspectives. Again, supporting your comparisons with reference to language and structure. And I will show you how to do so. Now, the final part of the paper, this is section B. In total, section B, you have to choose one question and in total, these questions are worth 40 marks each, but you just choose one question, okay? So you get a question eight or a question nine, each of which is worth 40 marks, and you choose one and you have a topic. And when it comes to this topic, you're given a certain framework that you need to follow, okay? A certain way that you need to present this topic. It's either as a speech, newspaper or magazine, which is fairly similar in terms of layout, review, letter, or a leaflet or 
guidebook, okay? So that's really it when it comes to understanding the general layout of the English language paper two exam. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk you through some past exam papers so that you can just kind of get a general gist of how these papers are laid out. And then I will go over with you model answers that I've created when it comes to past paper questions. And I will basically show you step-by-step step how to put together a really top level nine response. So let's get started. <laughs> 